Buddha Last is has been around for a while. It's been uh, available clinically in Japan for over two decades for asthma and post-stroke symptoms. Uh, and so its safety profile was well understood. In laboratory studies, it was found to be an anti-inflammatory. And that led to a phase two trial in relapsing MS, looking to see if ibutilast therapy reduced the development of new lesions and MRI, new T2 lesions and new gadolinium enhancing lesions. That trial was rather disappointing in that it did not decrease the development of new lesions on MRI. But what they did find is that it slowed the progression of brain atrophy, and it did it in a dose-dependent fashion. This was indeed the first therapy uh, that has been evaluated in MS, where there has been a reduction in brain atrophy without any effect on the development of lesions. Now, this was in relapsing MS. It raised the question of, ah, okay, it was hoped to be an anti-inflammatory. Turns out it's not. Maybe it is a neuroprotective in that it protects the brain from the injury that is brought on by the new lesions and other pathology in MS. That is what then led to the idea of, ah, maybe we should study it in progressive MS and look for whether it has neuroprotective properties as measured by whole brain atrophy. We also looked at other um, advanced imaging measures like diffusion tensor imaging, magnetization transfer imaging, and OCT and cortical atrophy to see if other biomarkers might help us gain insight into what ibutilast is doing. So it is going in a somewhat of a different direction from what MS therapies have traditionally done, which is stop inflammation, stop inflammation, stop inflammation, and is looking at, well, okay, we do need to stop inflammation, but there probably is more we need to do as well, and to try to get at something that might be protecting the brain after the injury of inflammation has already happened. There are a few other therapies that are following a similar line of something that's not anti-inflammatory. So there is a high-dose biotin preparation that is in phase three trial, uh, which is uh, looking in progressive MS, and that's also enrolling both primary and secondary progressive MS, looking at whether there can be improved function. And as best as we understand, high-dose biotin is not an anti-inflammatory, but is thought to work at the, the cell cellular metabolism level to help improve the function of brain cells. Uh, and we eagerly await that trial's results.